Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, we're gonna do another episode of Bites and Nibbles with Breck today. Today we're gonna to make uh, some more ice cream. Now you may recall a couple weeks ago, one of my viewers sent me an ice cream maker and I made ice cream then and it actually it turned out pretty well, although there was a few things I had to learn about the process and it took longer than expected because uh, the inner bowl where everything's mixed together wasn't completely frozen and it actually took me two days to do it. Well, ever since then, that inner your bowl has been living in the freezer and so I think that's just what's going to happen from now on it will always be in the freezer and then when I need it it's ready so uh, we're gonna to experiment today uh, like I said last time I made vanilla ice cream it was directly out of the recipe book that came with the ice cream maker and I think I've learned enough about the process to experiment a little bit I was talking to my mom about it uh, right after I got the thing explaining the process to her and uh, we were talking about strawberries. My mom loves strawberries and she wondered if I'd make strawberry ice cream. I said, well, um, I know strawberries are a big thing in California. My mom loves strawberries. I love strawberries. And one of the things that's really great about California strawberries is that they're literally the size of tennis balls and they're really, really huge. You don't really find that here. You can get strawberries here, but I haven't really had a lot of strawberries since I came to Texas. I did, however, point out that due to its proximity, we get a lot of Georgia peaches here and that I've been enjoying peaches recently. And she su suggested that maybe you ought to make peach ice cream. I thought, that's a really good idea. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's look at our ingredients. So these are the ingredients for our peach ice cream. Uh, as I said, I'm experimenting a little bit. There isn't actually a peach ice cream recipe in my recipe book, uh, but there's a strawberry ice cream recipe and I'm gonna adapt it, basically replace the strawberries with peaches and I think we'll end up with good results. Uh, our ingredients are heavy whipping cream, whole milk, some fresh greased lemon juice, a little vanilla extract, some sugar, and of course some fresh peaches. Now, like I said, I've been eating peaches a lot lately. Uh, that's one of the things I really love. And I've been getting them at the grocery store and I love them at this point. Peaches are a very delicate fruit. And once they're ripe, they don't tend to last long. So it's not uncommon for grocery stores to put them in the produce aisle a little bit before they're ripe. They're sometimes a little hard and they don't have quite the sweetness that come with them. Now, I learned a long time ago that the secret to dealing with peaches that aren't exactly perfectly ripe yet is that you put them in a paper bag and leave them out in kind of just room temperature for a day or two and they'll soften up really nicely. So I've done that with these peaches. These peaches are nice and soft, nice and ripe, and they're ready to go. So let's get going with our ingredients. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about half of our sugar, which is in this case about a half a cup. We're gonna pour it into our, into our peaches, which we've chopped up into little bits. And I have four tablespoons of lemon. And I'm just gonna kind of pour that on the top. We're gonna to kind of mix it all up a little bit. And what we're gonna do is it's called macerating it. Now I gotta admit, I had no idea what that was. So I actually looked it up. Uh, macerate is basically, it's just uh, letting it soak in the liquids and the sugar to tenderize it. It is basically to fruits and vegetables what marinade is to meat. So we've just kind of mixed it up in a little bit into a little bowl. We've stirred it together and I'm actually going to put this in the refrigerator and let it uh, sit for about two hours uh, while we, uh, you know, get, get ready for the final step. So I'll catch up with you in about two hours. I can't tell you how much we need this. It's just a little one, but we need it.
So we got a little time left yet before our fruit is fully ready, but I'm gonna get this ready for the next step, uh, which is gonna be the basic ingredient for our ice cream. So what I've got is a cup and a half of whole milk, two and three quarter cups of heavy whipping cream. I got that in a couple of cups here, so we're gonna pour that all in there. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Interesting reaction, huh? And one cup of sugar. And I'm basically, uh, it says put it in a mixer. I don't have a hand mixer. And honestly, I don't feel like pulling out the, uh, the uh, big mixer. So I'm just gonna whisk it together. And basically, we're just gonna mix it all together here until the sugar is completely dissolved. And that should just take a couple minutes. And like I said, I'm doing this a little bit earlier uh, before it's needed because when I did the ice cream before, I ran into such a problem that the liquids were uh, not fully uh, at, you know, as cold as they could be. And uh, that was partly because I was vlogging. Uh, and also the ice cream bowl was not as frozen as it could be. We've definitely solved that this time. And so what I'm gonna do is get this all mixed together and we're gonna throw it back in the refrigerator just to make sure it's as cold as we can make it. Cause we want this all to come out nice and ice creamy, right? First time I did it before it came out with kind of the consistency of a half melted milkshake. And that just wasn't good enough, right? It's called ice cream, not ice milkshake. All right, I think that's probably pretty good. I'm gonna throw that back in the refrigerator a little bit just so it's nice and cold when we put it in. Okay, my two hours are up and what I've decided now is they recommend that you puree half of your peaches and then at the end, right before, uh, in like the last minute, five minutes of making the ice cream, you take uh, the other half, which you've chopped up into fine little bits and uh, pop that in afterwards. But I decided to uh, chop up the peaches that I had a little bit tighter. So what I did is I put them in the food processor with a chop tool and that just made little tinier chunks of the peach, uh, the peach uh, mixture, uh, which will go in in the last five minutes. But now I'm gonna use the, uh, the blade, the, the chopping blade and the rest of this. And we're gonna puree the rest of this. So we're gonna turn this all basically into liquid in the food processor and that will go into the ice cream mixture right off the bat and it will be mixed in there and it'll give it the flavor and then we'll, at the end when we put this in we'll end up with the nice little chunks at the end and that'll uh that'll add to the flavor of the ice cream so that's my pure peach puree i'm going to basically pour that into my heavy cream and sugar mixture Give it a nice little whisk just to kind of blend it all together. And that's going to be my, uh, my ice cream. That's going to be the, the base of the ice cream, obviously. Like I said, we'll throw in the, uh, the peach uh, chunks later on but I think that's gonna look pretty good, don't you? All right, so as I've said, I kind of keep the ice cream bowl in here. This is where this thing lives. This is where it's been now for the last week or 10 days since I shot the last uh, ice cream video, and this thing is frozen solid. So we're gonna pop that in there. We're gonna pour our ice cream into the bowl, and we're gonna start the mixing process. All right, we've got all the ice cream in here. We're gonna put the, uh, the mixing tool in and we're gonna put the lid on. And basically what happens now, we turn the whole thing on and we are now making ice cream. Now we're gonna do this for about 20 minutes and that should help thicken up 
everything. And then, like I said, we'll pour in the rest of the, the peach uh, chunks, which I've still got in the fridge, and we'll let it do its thing for another five minutes. So uh, we'll be back in about 20 minutes to see how we're going. Yeah, this is definitely working better this time. A good frozen bowl and uh, and cold ingredients going into it make a big, big difference. Now, I've already che cheated a little bit, taken a little bit of a taste test, and it's really, really good. So we're going to throw in the ice cream, or the, uh, the remaining peach, and let that mix in for the final five minutes of the mixing. And uh, we should be ready to try this out. It's almost too much for the for the maker here, but that's okay. We can clean it. So another five or ten minutes have gone by, and this is starting to look actually pretty good. It really kind of surprises me how much this uh, this ice cream expands as it cools down because. When I first started it out, it was probably an inch or inch and a half below the, the level of the lid. And even before I put the extra peaches in there, it had expanded up to the point where it was coming out of the lid. And now, now it's all, actually almost as much as you get in there. It's actually coming around the edges here a little bit. So we're gonna do all our all important taste tests now, but I'm gonna uh, admit that I cheated a little bit. I've already taken a taste of this and this is wicked good. But let's do the official one here, right? Mmm, so good. That's actually almost better than stuff you can get in the store. Now it's still got kind of a soft serve consistency to it. So I'm gonna put it in the freezer and let it solidify up a little bit. And, uh, and then it'll be ready for, for actually to be eaten. But this is really good just as it is. So. Yeah, uh, for my first experiment doing this, um, you know, doing it where I'm actually fiddling around with a recipe on my own, this is an excellent result. I'm very happy with the results. This is very tasty, it's sweet, it's got amazing peach flavor, and uh, that truly is the secret to making this work, is you gotta keep all the ingredients cold, and that freezer bowl that goes in there, that has to be frozen solid. It has to be in the freezer, and it has to just live in the freezer. So. Uh, that's, uh, I think we kind of mastered this now. We'll be playing around with it a little bit more, but I think that's all that I have for today. So thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.